Windows SharePoint Services gives you the ability to modify a portion of a web uh, page or an entire web page just like you were modifying a Word document, giving you the ability to put in rich text and images and uh, modify the formatting. And they do that with a web part called a Content Editor web part. Let's do that uh, going to the IP Help Desk and seeing what they've got there already. At the top of their page, they're already using a Content Editor web part to display in some text to just give some direction to people coming to place IT help desk issues. But what they want to do is add an uh, image to this web part. But let's start from scratch and saying that they didn't have a content editor web part on their site already. They would come over to site actions, edit page, and when we do that you'll see that they've got a site image like the other home pages, the IT help desk web part, and a content editor web part. How we got that there was clicking on Add a Web Part. Our dialog box pane pops up and we scroll down to Content Editor Web Part. We click that and then we click Add. I'll do that just to show you how easy it is to add an additional Content Editor Web Part as well as to delete them. Just by clicking the X, we'll get rid of those. Let's use the one we already have. So, welcome to the IT Help Desk. They wanted to add an image to add a little uh, more engaging appearance to their home page. So, we're going to click on Edit and Modify Shared Web Part. And what this gives you the ability to do is click on the Rich Text Editor, which will bring up a dialog box. And this is where you can type in text, add images bold, highlight, bullet, just about anything you want to do to customize this page. Let's back up now and go grab a URL for an image that lives on their site and put it into this area. So I'm going to click cancel and then let's scroll over and I'm going to view all site content because the IT department does have a picture library here called IT images and let's say that they wanted to put in uh, this image right here. So we're going to click into IT images and then we're going to right click on this image and click copy shortcut. From there we're going to go back to the IT help desk and repeat the steps we started earlier by going to site actions, edit page, and then we're going to hit edit on the content editor web part, modify shared web part, and then our task pane shows up on the right hand side. Rich text editor is what's going to pop up the dialog box that will allow us to insert an image or change this text. I'm going to click just to the right of this title here and then click the little add image icon and I could put in some alternate text but really the purpose of this is to paste in that URL of the picture we went and grabbed. So control V will paste that URL in there for me. I can then click OK. And there is an image that is very large. And what we can do from this point is actually click the image and resize it. Let's make that a uh, little bit smaller and like so. And the next thing we want to do is have this text wrap up around the image rather than being down below like this. So with the image selected, I click the little push to the left or push to the right. And now our text is off to the right of the image, just like we want it. Again, just like uh, other web parts, I'm able to come in and highlight words, click the globe with the link button, and actually paste in a URL or a web address and turn these into hyperlinks. I've got the rich text capability. I can add table cells much like Excel to be able to format this page. So just about anything you can do in formatting in Microsoft Word you can do in a content editor web part. I'm going to click Save and I'm going to come over here. Our page is going to refresh. It's going to show me the changes and if I like what I see I can click OK or just go ahead and click exit edit mode. Now with exit edit mode I'm back on the uh, shared view and here is our image, there is our text and we're done.